Hi, my name is Steve Hutt, manager of R&D at 18 Sound in Reggio Emilia, Italy. We've been presenting videos on loudspeakers, the drivers and the components, and the specifications and talking about the line items in the specs. And we're continuing with general description. And now we'll talk power compression. Simply, power compression is a ratio of the output difference versus time versus when the loudspeaker was cold. As loudspeakers receive power, the voice coil will heat, and as it heats up, then its relationship with the magnetic flux and the output diminishes. Power compression is a measure of how that changes over time. We'll talk more about power compression in upcoming videos. Next is the maximum recommended frequency. You recall that we talked about loudspeakers as bandpass devices. As a low pass, there's a point at which the loudspeaker is not producing ideal sound or say enough sound. And there's a point at which the maximum recommended frequency describes a point where the loudspeaker output is very good and above that maybe it's not so good and you need to cross over into a different driver. Next is the recommended enclosure volume. This is related with the mechanical parameters of the loudspeaker and we often describe them as teal small parameters. The enclosure volume is de designed, or I should say it's coupled, with the loudspeaker to provide maximum output, usually in the low frequency range. The maximum volume of the loudspeaker doesn't have so much to do with the high frequency output. We will talk more about that in uh, upcoming videos too. Next is the minimum impedance. If you recall on the impedance curve, there's a peak at the resonance frequency and then as the frequency rises, the impedance diminishes. The minimum impedance is the point on the curve where the impedance is at its minimum. Very important when you're coupling with amplifiers to understand what this minimum impedance is. And then there's the maximum peak-to-peak -peak excursion. This is a mechanical limit at which point permanent damage may, may happen. That is, a voice call may strike a back plate, a spider might strike a front plate, or the suspension, spider, or surround may be at maximum uh, extension, and though that may not cause damage on a first uh, experience, over time it does fatigue the loudspeaker. So that's the end of the general description section of our spec sheet. Thanks for watching.